capos regions allow you to mark the parts of a song you would like to spend time learning. Let's take a look at how this works. I'm going to create a region surrounding this riff I would like to learn. To do this, I simply click in the waveform view and drag out the region around the bar I'm interested in practicing. Now that we have a region, we can click on the loop button in the toolbar to enable loop mode. When enabled, Capo will loop the audio inside the region where the cursor is located. Now, we press play to actually play the loop. To help keep things organized, you can create regions with different colors. For instance, I could use different colored regions for parts in the chorus, verse, or bridge. To create regions with different colors, I can hold down either the command, option, or a combination of the command and shift keys while dragging out the region. Regions can also be named to help you remember what parts you were learning. To rename a region, simply double click the title of the region and type in the new name. The regions you enter can be resized, moved around, and deleted. To resize a region, grab the handle at the right and change its length. To move a region, Grab anywhere in the middle of the region and shift it around. A region can be selected by clicking on it anywhere in the middle. To delete the selected region, you can simply press the delete key on your keyboard. 